I always thought that rockets were cool, but I didn't really know how they worked. <laughs> and I really admired, you know, the people who knew how to do that kind of thing. But I didn't feel like I got that in my tool set. <laughs> like, I just, you know, so... Um, but I did feel like I could tell a story. I'm up on the highway Steady and tight Black velvet night sky White twinkling lights Always thought about big questions and um, like the most important questions to me are things like why are we here <laughs> you know what what is a really meaningful way to spend our time I think all of her songs come from a personal experience each song is about something that she's gone through, which is good, you know, because it gives her a little edge on the delivery. The emotional content kind of comes through in there. She's just a, a different kind of performer. I think, you know, she gets a wider exposure. I think people will grab onto that. She's, uh, she's real. Everything she does is real. And drink it in. got a job with NASA contracting. To be a part of, of something so incredible and just to play a, a tiny role in it, um, I was really taken aback when I got to go down for the launch and see and just to stand there and just really see how, you know, I mean, it was really moving, incredible. Sorry to say I didn't build any rockets myself when I was out there. <laughs> Super, super intense guitar style, and I just was so fascinated by it, you know. And it was everything she did was real, super intense. The most unique quality that I, for me, was um, that a she understood her own music and she knew about every song and understood what the song was trying to do, and b she could sit and play the song on her guitar and sing it in one take perfectly every time. The album represents a period of growth for me and um, an acceptance of some facts that maybe um, I might have done well to look at harder earlier <laughs> on in life. When I'm writing a song or presenting one, it just makes the world feel a lot less lonely and kind of like, well, maybe if we don't really know exactly why we're here. We're at least we're all in agreement, <laughs> and we can do something that's useful to other people. Half of the album I co-wrote with uh, with my now good friend Pat Alger, and so he really helped to focus and keep on topic and get those songs distilled down to um, you know real real songs since. Meeting Kenny back in 2011, um, it, it just, I don't know, it just felt like chemistry. I got Chris Scruggs to come in and play drums and bass, so we would just track the song with the lead vocal and rhythm guitar, Amy just doing it live, and I'd play a little rhythm guitar and he'd play drums and then he'd come in, overdub the bass, and I'd overdub the guitar and we'd move on to the next song. Quick, you know. We just let it, you know, played it like you used to play back in the old days. It was really fun.
I mean, I think that's what you you get um, at one of my shows. You might you will see a, a real live person walking and standing and enduring her fears <laughs> before the audience. <laughs> and um, yeah, maybe people identify with that. I'm up on the highway Steady and tight Black velvet night sky White twinkling 